Bonjour tout le monde et bienvenue sur Irvin's French Class. Aujourd'hui, dans cette vidéo, nous allons apprendre 10 expressions très utiles et utilisées en français en relation avec la nourriture. So today, we are reviewing 10 useful and common French idioms. We will also talk about their uses and origins. C'est parti. And the first one is my favorite because I use it a lot with my kids to joke and its literal translation in English is very funny and also meaningless. So also for joking, I use it sometimes with friends who are English speakers and they go like, what did you say? This idiom is aller se faire cuire un oeuf. So the literal translation is go and cook yourself an egg. What the hell? In context, it is used with the imperative. Can you repeat that? Va te faire cuire un oeuf. Did you guess the meaning? It means get lost. After a bit of research on this idiom, it seems that the most plausible origin is from a time that is unfortunately not completely over when cooking was a woman's duty. So if the husband dared criticizing the food, his spouse could invite him to go away and cook himself an egg, which is the basics of cooking, right? That even a man can handle, or not even. The second idiom is en faire tout un fromage, which literally is to make a whole cheese out of something. Very French, isn't it? I guess the meaning is pretty transparent for this one. To make a whole mountain out of a more hill, yes which is very close to the French version, by the way. En faire toute une montagne does also exist. Interestingly, when you Google that locution, the very first results are not from linguistics or language-related websites, but cheese-related websites. They all explain that starting from something as simple as milk, you get something as complex as cheese, hence the meaning to make a big deal out of something simple. Numéro 3, avoir du pain sur la planche. Literally, to have some bread on the board. That is a bit harder to guess. Also very French, of course, we had to have idioms with cheese and bread. What else? So it means to have a lot on your plate. You can use it this way. La semaine prochaine, j'ai du pain sur la planche où j'ai beaucoup de pain sur la planche. This idiom has changed meaning over time. At the beginning of the 19th century, it meant to have enough resources or money to live comfortably. Apparently, meaning of long-lasting and arduous tasks to complete is from the end of the 19th century, when the court distributed bread rations on a board to the accused who had to serve long sentences of forced labor. Numéro 4. Mettre de l'eau dans son vin. So after cheese and bread, we had to have some wine, right? So what does it mean to put some water in your wine? To be more moderate. The origin of this idiom is very old. As you may know, in ancient Greece and Rome, but also in Gaul, people would add some water to their wine to make it drinkable. The next idioms are related to wealth and money. The first one is mettre du beurre dans les épinards, to put some butter in the spinach. The meaning of this idiom is to top up your income. Butter is of course linked to wealthiness that improves the regular taste of something. Numéro 6, ne pas avoir un radis, literally to have no radish. What could be the meaning of that? Radish used to be a very cheap vegetable eaten by poor people. Therefore, if you have no radish, you have no money. The last idiom is avoir du blé, to have wheat. This is the opposite to radish. Wheat is related to harvest, wealth, and money. In context, j'ai beaucoup de blé means I have a lot of money. Voilà les amis, c'est tout pour cette vidéo. N'oubliez pas le pouce bleu ni l'abonnement. Au revoir à plus. Ciao.